you think of uh, Gavin Stone and, and Grove? Kind of I, I thought um, Gavin set the tone. Um, he really did. I, I thought uh, the fastball command was a story for him and uh, worked low in the zone, got ahead of guys, uh, made pitches when he needed to, and then, you know, he passed the ball to Michael. I thought Michael did a great job uh, controlling the strike zone, getting ahead, and then everyone else, uh, you know, beyond that did the same thing. So I thought the catchers, Austin and uh, Fetty, did a nice job with the guys. So, um, you know, to pitch the way we did is something that is a point of emphasis. And, uh, you know, on the offensive side, I just thought that we just took really good at bats all day long. But closer to being the finished product than Gavin Um, I, I think, uh, well, I, I think obviously there's a long way to go as far as getting, continuing to get at bats, uh, major league at bats, and, and playing. It's been a year since he's played. No, no, Gavin Stone. Oh, Gavin Stone, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think Gavin, Today was a, I mean, it's one outing. Certainly a great step in the right direction. Um, I, I think last year he learned a lot. And I think, you know, he really learned the value of being able to control the fastball. And uh, when he does that, he has weapons that he can use against hitters. So um, how close is he to a finished product? Um, he's certainly a work in progress. There's a way to go. But I still believe that he has the stuff to, to get major league hitters out. What, is there anything in your preparation during the week that kind of allowed you guys to come out and a good approach to play and having uh, a lot of success in that first inning? Uh, you know, a lot of our guys have seen Musgrove, and uh, he's a guy that, yeah, he can, he throws a lot of first pitch strikes. Today he was, kind of didn't have his command, um, but we didn't let it, uh, him chase us off the plate. And so, you know, Mookie taking the first pitch 3 2 uh, slider, breaking ball uh, for a ball. I thought James had a great at bat. You know, all throughout the lineup early on, I thought we got the pitch count up, and, um, and it just continued throughout the day. And Ricky Venasco, very effective out there. What did you see for him? If you could just talk about his upside. Austin did a great job with Ricky. Um, Ricky is a four pitch pitcher, he's got really good stuff to get righties out, to get lefties out. And so we're just trying to continue to uh, harness that command because when he's in the strike zone, the stuff plays. And so today, really efficient outing, and there's a lot of conviction behind his throws today. Yep. I have a question not related to the game, but I bet you heard of um, Hyunjin coming back to KBL? I did, I did. Um, I I'm excited for him to, to go back home uh, where it all started for him. Uh, he was a fantastic Dodger, and uh, I was very fortunate to be able to manage him, and uh, I wish him all the best. And then you'll be going to um, Korean Seoul Asiri next month, I believe? We are. We leave, I think, on the 13th or the 14th. We play a couple exhibition games, and then we'll play the Padres for two regular season games. And do you have any plans on like meeting him or contacting him when you get to Korea? Um, you know what? I might try to. Yeah, I might do a little Korean barbecue or something like that. Um, I don't know his schedule. But uh, I do definitely consider Hunjin a friend. Well, they just call it barbecue. Is that right? <laughs> okay, that's, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for that.